In the upper left-hand corner is Prosecutor Bernard Meltzer. This is the prosecutor's table. Bernard Meltzer prosecuted Walter Funk. He took part in drafting the laws that deprived German Jews of their economic right. In 1938, he was named Minister of Economics and in 1939, President of the Reichsbank. It was in the vaults of the Reichsbank that the Allies found 72 carloads of gold teeth taken from the mouths of murdered concentration camp inmates. Bernard explains his reaction to the opening statement by Justice Robert Jackson. The chief prosecutor for the United States of America. The privilege of opening the first trial in history for crimes against the peace of the world imposes a grave responsibility. The wrongs which we seek to condemn and punish have been so calculated, so malignant and so devastating, that civilization cannot tolerate their being ignored because it cannot survive their being repeated. Just magnificent. I mean, we know it is now. It's, oh, no, why is that murder? But it, it, it's, it, not, it laid the foul. You see, God remembered the Americans had the conspiracy count. Right. So the Americans could wander over the whole field. And Jackson really gave in thumbnail the history of the regime and the oppressions and so on. And... Uh, and, you know, f had wonderful phrases. In, in a way, one hated to cannibalize the talk by quoting a few excerpts, but there's that wonderful statement of four nations flushed with the power of the So on, uh, subordination of power to reason. or So, uh, but it was just, it was electric. It was electric. 